Hi guys, good morning and welcome back to my channel. I've been recently thinking about all the books that I love, that I absolutely love, or that have been on the forefront of my mind for a while that I just can't get out, whether I liked it or didn't. And there's so many books that come with book playlists, and I love listening to the book playlists while reading the books, but some don't. And then I have to create my own song playlist for the specific book that I'm reading. So today I thought it'd be fun to give you all of the books that I either love or had to mention in this video because the songs that I think of for these books are like perfect. When I was thinking about this idea, I thought of so many different books that could have the same song for different books, but I'm gonna narrow it down to like a specific book, not like five different books that can go with one specific song, and I tried to think outside the box because <laughs> I could literally give all of these books a Taylor Swift song. When I was thinking of songs I was picking for certain books, I was like, this is totally This Is Me Trying, or this is totally Snow on the Beach. I was like, no, okay, Hannah, as much as you love Taylor Swift, let's think of other songs. I did try to think outside the box, but a lot of these do correlate with Taylor Swift songs, so I'm warning you now, there are a lot of Taylor Swift songs. Okay, I'm gonna start with the Twisted series because there's so many songs that I thought of for specifically Twisted Lies and Twisted Games. However, one song in particular that really made me think of Twisted Love is Favorite Crime by Olivia Rodrigo. Tell me that that song does not fit this book perfectly. Literally the first lyrics to the song is, know that I loved you so bad, I let you treat me like that. Use me as an alibi, cross my heart as you cross the line, and I defended you to all my friends. Literally, is that not this book? The next book in the Twisted series is Twisted Games, and there's a lot for Twisted Games, so I'm gonna try and go quick for this. When I was trying to narrow it down, the first that came to mind was Don't Let Me Go by Florence and the Machine. Just the essence of the song goes well with Bridget and Reese. It's, it's like them dancing, it's like them fighting for each other. It's just the perfect song that I feel like describes for them. But the arms of the ocean delivered me, though the pressure is hard to take it's the only way i can escape oh it's breaking over me a thousand miles down to the seabed found a place to rest my head never let me go okay another one that i thought was perfect for this book is perfect by ed sheeran right off the bat with this song i found a love for me darling just dive right in and follow my lead well i found a girl beautiful and sweet oh i never knew you were the someone waiting for me Reese literally never believed in love until he saw and knew Bridget. That song is perfect for them. It's perfect. And the last song that I have for Twisted Games is My Oh My by Camila Cabello. The Twisted series, it does have spice in it and it is spicy. So I thought of this song a little bit older, a black leather jacket, a bad reputation, insatiable habits. Yeah, I said if you kiss me, I might let it happen. I swear on my life that I've been a good girl. Tonight, I don't want to be her. Literally anyone that has read the Twisted series wants to be Bridget when they're in Costa Rica. Uh, that's all I'm gonna say. First song for Twisted Lies, Christian Harper and Stella. This is my favorite book in the Twisted series. I don't care what people say. The first song that I automatically thought of was Lover of Mine by Five Seconds of Summer. Hope and pray, darling, that you will stay. Butterfly lies, chase them away. Dance around the living room, lose me in the sight of you. I've seen the red, I've seen the blue. Take all of me. Swallow every single lie. Take all of me. I'll never give you away. Tell me that this is not the whole book. You can't tell me otherwise. Like I said, the Twisted series is, there are some spicy stuff. So these next two are for my spicy scenes that come in these books. The first being Close by Nick Jonas. Cause if I want you, then I want you, babe. Ain't going backwards, won't ask for space. Cause space is just a word made up by someone who's afraid to get too close. And the last song is Heaven by Julia Michaels. Every like morally gray character could fit this song 
perfectly. He loves my religion, but he is my faith, something so sacred, so hard to replace. Falling for him was like falling from grace. All wrapped in one, he was so many sins, would have done anything, everything for him. They say all the good boys go to heaven, but bad boys bring heaven to you. And the next series I want to talk about is the Chestnut Spring series. It is probably my favorite series at the moment. Although I did love Flawless, I jumped straight into Heartless because Heartless is my favorite book in that series. And the first one that came to mind is Love is a Cowboy by Kelsey Ballerini. I'm obsessed with Daddy Cade. I love Cade Eaton so much. He's such a complex character. Like when he's first introduced into Flawless, I'm like, grumpy single dad because i've never read a single dad romance before i didn't know what i was getting myself into but when his book came around i love him i love him so much i wish i was willa i mean i wish i was willa for a lot of reasons but specifically because she's with kate anyways rough around the edges stops you in your tracks wrecks you in the worst way when it looks like that knocks you off your horse but keeps you coming back love is cowboy makes your heart feel like wild horses in your chest trying to catch it's like trying to tame a wild wild west and when i'm with him it's like rope in the wind love is cowboy another song that comes to mind for heartless is beautiful crazy by luke combs her day starts with a coffee and ends with a wine takes forever getting ready so she's never on time for anything when she gets that come get me look in her eyes well it's kind of scares me the way that she drives me wild it's like literally Kate's point of view this whole song is Kate's point of view for Willa she can't help but amaze me the way that she dances ain't afraid to take chances she's unpredictable unforgettable it's unusual unbelievable how I'm such a fool yeah I'm such a fool for her <sighs> The next book I want to talk about in the Chestnut Spring series is Powerless. This is Jasper's book. He's not a part of the family, but he's like a family friend. He's like basically the family. The first song that came to mind for me when reading this book is Family Line by Conan Gray. It's hard to put in words how the holidays will always hurt. I watch the fathers with their little girls and wonder what I did to deserve this. How could you hurt a little kid? I can't forget. I can't forgive you because now I'm scared that everyone I love will leave me. All my past, I tried to erase it, but now I see would I even change it. The song always gets me. One that also comes to mind is Speak Now by Taylor Swift. I am not the kind of girl, well, let's say guy in the situation, who should be rudely barging in on a white veil occasion, but you are not the kind of boy, girl, who should be marrying the wrong girl, guy. <laughs> Don't say yes, run away now, I'll meet you when you're out of the church at the back door. Now, I know I said I wasn't going to do a lot of Taylor Swift songs, but her songs are perfect, especially for the Chestnut Spring series, so I'm just going to say You're in Love, also by her. Light-hearted jokes, no proof, not much, but you saw enough. Small talk, he drives, coffee at midnight. The light reflects the chain on your neck. He says, look up, and your shoulders brush. No proof, one touch, but you felt enough. You can hear it in the silence. You can feel it on the way home. You can see it with the lights out. You are in love true love. You keep his shirt, he keeps his word, and for once you let go of your fears and your ghosts. One night he wakes, strange look on his face, pauses, then says, you're my best friend, and you knew what it was. He is in love. And the next book that I'm going to talk about is Reckless. This is Theo and Winter. This is probably my second favorite in this series. I love this book. I love Theo. The first song that I thought of for this book is Matilda by Harry Styles. Nothing about the way that you were treated ever seemed especially alarming until now, so you tied up your hair and you smile like it's no big deal. You can let it go. You can throw a party full of everyone you know and not invite your family because they've never showed you love. You don't have to be sorry for leaving and growing up. Matilda, you talk of the pain like it's all alright, but I know that you feel like a piece of you is dead inside. You showed me a power that is strong enough to bring sun to the darkest days. Another song that I thought of for Reckless is Cinnamon Girl by Lana Del Rey. I'm saying this next line from Theo's point of view, talking to Winter. You try to push me out, but I just find my way back in. Violet, blue, green, red. To keep me out, I win. There's things I want to say to you, but I'll just let you live. And then this next line is Winter talking to Theo. Like, if you hold me without hurting me, you'll be the first who ever did. There's things I want to talk about, but better not to give. But if you hold me without hurting me, you'll be the first who ever did. The next series I'm going to talk about is the Mind F series. Literally, this book is so good that it has put me in a reading slump for like three weeks. I, I have nothing that I want to read 
this is just constantly on my mind it is so good one of the songs that came to my mind especially after i had finished the series is the lucky ones by lana del rey let's get out of this town baby we're on fire everyone around here seems to be going down 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 if you stick with me i can take you higher it feels like our friends are lost nobody's found i got so scared i thought no one could save me you came along scoop me up like a baby every now and then the stars align boy and girl meet by the next design could it be that you and me are the lucky ones everybody told me love was blind then i saw your face and you blew my mind if you don't know anything about this book it's basically about lana who went through very traumatic events growing up and basically had to reinvent herself and is now seeking revenge for the people that did her wrong. Then she meets Logan, an FBI profile agent. They start dating and he doesn't know that he's actually dating the serial killer that he's trying to put away, which is Lana. The next song that I thought of is Paint the Town Red by Doja Cat. Honestly, you could just go with the title. I paint the town red. And the last song that I'm going to include for the Mind F series is Seven Devils by Florence and the Machine. I pictured this song in the last like few chapters of this book. Just the essence of that song and the energy it gives me totally reminds me of Lana and the final steps of her revenge. That is what I feel her like statement song would be is Seven Devils. Holy. Holy water cannot help you now. Thousand armies couldn't keep me out. I don't want your money. I don't want your crown. See, I've come to burn your kingdom down. And no rivers and no lakes can put the fire out. I'm gonna raise the stakes. I'm gonna smoke you out. Seven devils all around me. Seven devils in my house. See, they were there. When I woke up this morning, I'll be dead before the day is gone. They can keep me out till I tear the walls, till I save your heart and to take your soul. And what has been done cannot be undone. I love Lana. I am obsessed with Lana. She's one of my favorite characters ever. Since I'm starting to take a dark romance route, I'll go into the next dark romance. It's actually the first dark romance book that I have ever read, which is kind of crazy to say because, well, it's Haunting Adeline by H.G. Carlton. This was not a toe dipping in the water kind of book. It was a full on being pushed, getting my head held down underwater and just kind of just accepting it for a little bit. That's what this book was like when I first got into dark romance. Now the first song I'm going to include is because it's on TikTok. It's probably the song that everyone puts with Haunting Adeline and that is Run 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 by Dutch Melrose. The devil's in the mirror, he's staring right over me. I always thought it would be easy to get you out of my mind. I think I found a new addiction and it feels so right. Run baby run, run for your life. I'ma tear out your heart, it'll always be mine. Say you'll love me to death, cause I will. Yeah, that's literally Zade. If you don't know anything about Haunting Adeline, it is about Zade. He's like a security guy and hacker. He basically takes down corrupt people and like pedophiles and takes down the sex trafficking ring. He also is a terrible man to Addie. Addie is a kind of an indie author. She publishes a book. She lives in her old grandmother's house or great grandmother something of that sort. And um, he stalks her and is obsessed with her, basically forces her to fall in love with him. Now, Haunting Adeline is one of the books that I talked about where it's not like a five-star read for me. It's just like one of those books that I read and, and has stuck with me for a very long time and probably will never ever leave my brain, whether I want it to or not. The next song that I correlate with this book is I Fell in Love with the Devil by Ava Levine. Shotguns and Roses. We're starting right off the bat. I can't stop the rush and I can't give you up. No, I know you're no good for me. You're no good for me. I fell in love with the devil and now I'm in trouble. I fell in love with the devil. I'm under his spell. Honestly, Adeline is probably one of the most stupid characters that I've ever read in my entire life. So her and Zayd are probably perfect for each other. The next dark romance book that I am obsessed with, I, I want to finish the rest of the series and I have to very soon. It's The Predator. It's a part of the Dark Verse series. I've only read this first one. Like I said, I gotta continue it. But when I'm reading this book, automatically the song that came to mind is I'm Yours by Isabel La Rosa. I know that you love me, darling. You don't have to say it. You know you can trust me. It's okay. It's complicated. Baby, I'm yours. I need something more. I'll pray to the lord that baby i'm yours we're getting closer inches away lose composure favorite mistake friendships over won't be the same 
only minus the friendship and their enemies. <laughs> if you don't know anything about The Predator, it is by Runix. I guess that's how you say it. I've been saying Runix this whole time. The Predator is about Marana. She is the daughter of this mob boss. Then you have Tristan Kane. Love him. He is a part of the rival family of Marana's dad. Something goes down where Marana has to team up with Tristan Kane, and basically it's for the good of both families. They are enemies. They literally threaten each other and almost kill one another the whole entire book. But there's there's tension, you know, there's something there. And I'm obsessed with it. It's such a slow burn. Oh, it's so good. It's so good. The next song that goes with the Predator is Die For You by The Weeknd. I'm finding ways to articulate the feeling I'm going through. I just can't say I don't love you, cause I love you. You know what I'm thinking, see it in your eyes. You hate that you want me, hate it when you cry. I'm scared that I'll miss you, happens every time. I don't want this feeling, I can't afford love. I try to find reason to pull us apart. It ain't working cause you're perfect and I know that you're worth it. I can't walk away. The distance and the time between us, it'll never change my mind. Just don't blame me too, yeah, because I can't take this pain forever. The last dark romance book that I'm going to talk about is Butcher and Blackbird by Bryn Weaver. If you don't know anything about this book, it's about two serial killers who kill other serial killers. But like bad, bad serial killers. They put on this annual competition to see who they can kill and who will do it first. And it's not their main job. They have other jobs. A song that comes to mind when thinking of Butcher and Blackbird is probably anything from Hoser, but take me to church in particular. If the heavens ever did speak, she's the last true mouthpiece. Every Sunday is getting more bleak, a fresh poison each week. We were born sick, you heard them say it. My church offers no absolute, she tells me worship in the bedroom. The only heaven I'll be sent to is when I'm alone with you. The next song that makes me think of Butcher and Blackbird is I Wanna Be Yours by Arctic Monkeys. I wanna be your vacuum cleaner, breathing in your dust. I want to be your Ford Cortina. I will never rust. If you like your coffee hot, let me be your coffee pot. You call the shots, babe. I just want to be yours. Secrets I have held in my heart are harder to hide than I thought. Maybe I just want to be yours. And my man Rowan wants to be Sloan's. The last song I want to talk about when thinking of Butcher and Blackbird is Metal About by Chase Atlantic. Because it's not just a figure of speech, you got me down on my knees, it's getting harder to breathe out. We only met each other just the other day, but you already got me feeling some type of way. Now if I could figure it out, I'd take you back to my house so we could meddle about. These dark romance men? The next book that I'm going to talk about that is the five star reads of the year for me so far is Powerless by Lauren Roberts. I am patiently patiently waiting for the second book. Now technically there's going to be like a one and a half book that ha talks about one of the characters in here and I'm scared to read it because I know it's going to rip my heart out and make me cry and make me feel things that I am too scared to feel. However, will I still buy it? <laughs> yes. One song that comes to mind is The Archer by Taylor Swift. Combat. I'm ready for combat. I say I don't want that, but what if I do? Because cruelty wins in the movies. I've got a hundred thrown out speeches I almost said to you. Easy they come, easy they go. I jump from the train. I rot off alone. I never grew up. It's getting so old. Help me hold on to you. I've been the archer. I've been the prey. Who could ever leave me, darling? but who could stay? All the king's horses and all the king's men couldn't put me together again because all of my enemies started out friends. Help me hold on to you. I love that song. I want to get a tattoo for that song. The next song that I associate this book with is The Night We Met by Lord Huron. I am not the only traveler who has not repaid his debt. I've been searching for a trail to follow again. Take me back to the night we met and then I can tell myself what the hell I'm supposed to do. I had all and then most of you, some and now none of you. Take me back to the night we met. I don't know what I'm supposed to do. Haunted by the ghost of you. Oh, take me back to the night we met. When you had not touched me yet, oh, take me back to the night we met. Oh my gosh, I literally want to reread this book right now. I read this in January. I want to reread this. Like, at this moment, I'm obsessed with this book. And of course, another song that makes me think of this book is Ocean Eyes by Billie Eilish. I've been watching you for some time. Can't stop staring at those ocean eyes. Burning cities and napalm skies. 15 flares inside those ocean eyes. I've never fallen from quite this high, falling into your ocean eyes. I've been walking through a world gone blind. Can't stop thinking of your diamond mind. Careful creature made friends with time. He left her lonely with a diamond mind. And those ocean eyes. The next song is Killer by Phoebe Bridges. I'm pretty sure I'd miss you in fake sleep to count your breath. 
Can the killer in me tame the fire in you? Oh, is there nothing left to do for us? I am sick of the chase, but I'm hungry for blood, and there's nothing I can do. My camera died. <laughs> So I had to change the battery. Okay, well, those are all the books that I am going to talk about today for this video. If you want to hear more, I have so many more books that I can think of. Probably like seven off the top of my head because I love reading. I love putting together a playlist in my head. I love creating a little world in my head. For some reason, I just always have to apply a song to that. If you like this video, please like and subscribe for more videos to come. If you want to follow me on any other social media platforms, I will have them linked down below and I hope to be seeing you in the next video. Bye.